<laughs> this is a request that we, somebody brought it up and actually said requested for us to um talk about it on the podcast. Told him I would. So uh, shout out to the homie Akeem for coming up with this one. But uh, he said he was talking to a coworker, and uh, his coworker said that she asked her husband if she could borrow his phone. Before he gave her the phone, he deleted a bunch of text messages, and she saw him delete it, and didn't say nothing to him. Just took the phone and did what she had to do with it. She said she was afraid to ask him what was up with him text he deleted. It's a coworker that asked the phone for the phone. No, no, no. He's, a, he, he's my homeboy was having a conversation with his coworker. This oh, he was story. having a conversation. Okay. And this is the, this is what his coworker told him. Okay. So she's married and asked her husband for the phone. He deleted text messages, and she was afraid to ask what that was about. So she never asked. So should she ask or just let that shit slide? How long ago was it? I'm guessing last week because that's when I read the post. No. Oh, you're saying like it should be like a certain amount of time that goes by? There's a, mm-hmm. there's a statute of limitation on asking me about what I did with my phone? If nah, you I, if you I see a dog shit on the floor, do you beat them now or do you beat them later? You beat deleting, them they can still deleting smell the text shit. message isn't shitting on the floor. <laughs> and see, that's why I asked how long ago it's been. What she got coming up? When's her birthday? You're asking too many uh... <laughs> Nah, I mean, cause like if that he was my too many, I don't, I don't know all those answers. Yeah, and see, that's what I'm saying. Like, all right, let's say he could be, oh, he could planning be planning something, something like a surprise, something, and just fucking deleting. Like, yo, she go through my shit. And that's what I'm saying. As far as that, like, if you that nosy, because it's not like he tried to hide it that much for 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 him to like delete that shit right there in front of you. Yeah, it, it had to be something he was doing for her, because I do shit for. My significant other, and she almost ruined it. Fuck you, babe. But uh, and this, <laughs> no, are we I'm talking? Joking. Are we talking past tense or future tense? <laughs> no, this this actually happened. She almost ruined her birthday party. Like uh, like she almost ruined her birthday party because what she thought. That? All right, so check this out. Right, me and her cousin was planning her birthday party. I mean, this ain't gonna spoil it now because you know it's already passed. We planned our birthday party, and we set, we got the whole venue rented out, cake. All this other bullshit that she wore. You know how females like the theatrics and everything. So I went all out and did all that. And she was crying and complaining about no one wanting to do something for her birthday because she couldn't figure out anybody to do anything. I got, and, I got, and I had the whole family into it. I know how she is. And she, you know, she don't want to, like, a birthday party. It's just us or, you know what I mean, you know. Of course, guys want a little thing with a birthday party. She wanted to, you know, she like she like her whole family to be involved. So that's what I done. I finally learned my lesson and did what she wanted and got her whole family involved. And she almost ruined it. So that's why I was saying like, what well, she, like, she tried to plan her own shit for her birthday. She, yes, she did. And that's and that shit is so aggravating because I already had it covered, like everything, the cost, everything covered. Everything and it's just, it, it, it's just that bugs did you, me to this day. Did you try to do it before her birthday or on her birthday? It was way. Oh, it was it was bef- it was uh, was it before? Th- I think it was like I think it was like a day or two before her birthday, but it was on a weekend, so it was great. It worked out perfect. I think her birthday was on like a Sunday, and I did it on that Saturday. Put you on the game. What you should have did was also made a plan with her, like got like a couple of her cousins or some shit, and like made a plan to go do something. And then just instead of taking her to whatever the fuck y'all was going to do, take her to the fucking surprise you had planned instead but she of making was, her think that she ain't doing shit for that's her where you, Yeah, that's, where you, that's what I was getting at because it's like you can't be mad at her. No, no, I won't. For, I mean, not really mad, but I mean, you can't be like expecting her to just sit there and twiddle her thumbs with nothing to do for her birthday. No, but her family did have something to do on her birthday, like on the actual like, birthday. Like, but, but, like, she, like but she went, plans, but she, though? No, it was real stuff. She, she wanted to do something that Saturday. And we was like, yo, you got to free up her day that Saturday. Because, like, they, she, wanted, she wanted to do something that Saturday instead of Friday. We was like, yo, why don't you do it Friday? And, we, and she was like, no, I want to do it Saturday because I got stuff to do Friday. I was like, well, what about Sunday? You know, your actual birthday. Well, we got to spend time. I'm like. <laughs> like, just make like, a fake plan. Like you said, fake plan. Yeah, man. I mean, I'm still learning. Yeah, do, do that next time, man. Fake plans. I'm still learning. Whatever. But anyway, <laughs> oh, so you don't, you don't you don't consider that a red flag though that dude is 
erasing text messages before he hands the phone over? Yeah, it's a red flag. Well, it's a, yeah, it's, it's a red flag. I mean, depending on what type of relationship they in. I mean, if, they, if, if if you don't feel like you totally transparent, it's definitely a red flag. If you feel like you're afraid to ask the question. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> what kind of shit is that? I'm afraid to ask the fucking question. Yeah, I mean, I ain't one of those people that I feel like uh, if you ain't going to leave, then let them cheat in peace. Pretty much. That's a, I'm one of those motherfuckers. That, that should be the worst. So what was your, what was your, um, all she do, all she gonna do is what, drag him through the mud to stay with him. Or that was your coworker, his coworker. No, that was a homeboy that I used to work with. So what was, how was he? Uh, what was what was his whole response? I don't remember. I really don't. I would love to let you know, but <laughs> my phone is recording us right now. So <laughs> this guy. Here. So what do you say? You think she should ask, or you think uh, <clears throat> she just let that shit slide? I ain't gonna say let it slide. If she ain't, um, if she ain't say shit by now, I mean that's why I asked. Like well, I don't know what she got coming up. Like if she got a birthday, like a, around the corner, or an anniversary, or some shit, some shit that she could spoil. But I mean, other than that, yeah, it's, it's something wrong with that relationship. She's afraid to ask. <laughs> I mean, what, what kind of shit are you afraid to ask for? What are you gonna do? Get a get a beating? I mean. I think she's more afraid of the answer. Uh, yeah, I know, really I know that. Okay. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was being facetious. Um.